Hey everyone, Anthony Scott here of ToyHypeUSA.com. Today we are reviewing the newly released Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Pizza Fire Van Vehicle from Playmates Toys. Special shout out and thank you to Playmates Toys for sending along for review. It's greatly appreciated. We've seen similar versions of this van released over the decades, most particularly called the Party Wagon Turtle Van. It's been called numerous things. Well, this one is called the Pizza Fire Van. That's in the film and it's their primary vehicle. It includes pizza launching action. So this launcher can fire the pizzas. Here is a look at another side of it. And here's a look at the bottom. Now what's interesting here is that unlike the actual five inch basic figures, on the van, you actually have images of what the figures look like as seen in the line. You also have a look at the battle cycles, which are also included. Here is a closer look at that, Raphael and Leonardo. Here's a closer look at the first wave featuring all four turtles, Splinter, Bebop, and Rocksteady. A new character called Superfly. I don't believe he's supposed to be Baxter Stockman. I think he's basically a new character. And Leatherhead. And it also specifies that the Pizza Fire Van comes with one Pizza Fire Van, well, and eight pizza discs. So a total, one more side, which is right here. This has a few more instructions on it. Push Pizza Slice, which is right there and the pizza action. So we're gonna be taking a closer look at that. There is a brief description on the upper right-hand side. And on the sides, you have a few more looks at it. And here's a look at the other side. It also opens up from the back so you can stick figures back there. I'm going to open this box up now and let's take a closer look. If you ever purchased a turtle van before, you should know that this requires some basic assembly and that is what is going on here. Also, stickers need to be applied. And here's your look at that from taking it out of the box. This is what was loose on the box. And here's a look at the stickers and some of the parts we're gonna be assembling. There's a look at the other side. This bag has that big pizza slice on there. And here's a look at the pizza fire van itself. This opens up. The tires are back here. You should have four tires and four, well, actually just four tires. I think those yellow pieces are attached to the tires, which you should be able to see on the camera there. So there's a closer look at inside the van. Here's a look at the other side. And of course, here's a look at the front. So I'm going to assemble this now and let's take a closer look. Before we begin by taking a look at the van, let's first take a look at the instructions. As I specified, some assembly is required and this gives you the steps here, the tires, various parts on top, things like that. It also gives you a look at the features here, where the turtles go right on the back. You can stick them inside the trunk and the driver's seat as well. What I mean by the back is that there's a bar for them to hold on to and a platform for them to stand on. And here is a closer look at the stickers. Each sticker is individually numbered and you're gonna be placing the stickers as shown. Here's a closer look at everything. On the other side, these are instructions. First, the Pizza Fire launcher needs uh, three AAA batteries. So you're gonna be putting batteries on the uh, underside of this launcher right here, right there on the bottom, installing the pizzas right in there, putting it on the on switch, and then it fires the pizzas. So there's your look there. You're also gonna to want to read these battery instructions most important, do not leave batteries inside. If the battery leaks, you're gonna be left with battery acid, which you definitely don't want. So after play, 
if you're going to display it, just take the batteries out. That's the easiest thing to do. And what I always recommend is get yourself a battery organizer. They're fairly inexpensive and comes in very handy. That's what I use. So just read these instructions, which you see here. Here's a closer look at that. And again, instructions up on top. There's another look at everything. And now the fun part. Let's take a look at the turtle van itself. All of the labels are applied. And what's new on this side is the window label with Michelangelo. The pepperoni pizza up on top is also new that I applied. On the front, all of the stickers are new. The headlights, the lights down here. These lower lights and the headlights all the way up here. The pizza rule sticker and the window sticker are new as well. On the back, the rear sticker is also new. The license plate and this back bar. So opening up the front canopy. You can stick two figures inside, whichever two you want. Doesn't have to be two of the turtles. It could be Splinter and April when she's released. The rear of the vehicle, this opens up as well. And you can stick more turtles inside. There is, however, no seats or pegs for their feet to stand on. So you're just going to be basically throwing figures on the inside here just to place them somewhere. That is kind of the new norm with this new age of turtle bands. I've seen this before with some of their other releases over the years. So that's just basically what they're doing now. And the last part that opens up, what you're going to do is press on the pizza on top. That will activate the launcher which you're able to fire pizzas. I do not have any AA batteries. I tested them, none of them work. So unfortunately, I'm, I can't demonstrate it. But what you're gonna do is put it on the on switch here. You see where it says off and on, just make sure it's on the on switch. You're then going to press this red button, at which point you're gonna hear a little motor and the pizzas will fire. So that's how that works there. Here's a look at the van with their turtles on it. Leonardo is on the back. Raphael and Donatello are in the driver's and passenger's front seats here. Again, you can open it up and you can place the figures inside. There are no seat belts or anything, so these guys are loose fitting. And press the pizza. Michelangelo is inside the pizza launcher. So there's your closer look at him there. There are handles for the pizza launcher that him to hold on to. What I would recommend is take off his nunchucks. It's very hard to place him inside with the nunchucks on. Here's a look at the back of the van. I was able to comfortably fit three of the figures inside. Overall, the Pizza Fire van is a great vehicle I think fans are going to love. My recommendation would be to pick it up. Make sure to click off the links to our sponsors on ToyHappyUSA.com before you buy. Thank you in advance. Thanks again to Playmates Toys for sending along for review. It's greatly appreciated. Make sure to like and subscribe on this video, and we would greatly appreciate that as well.